my YouTube channel. I can't believe I'm finally sitting down and chatting to you guys about the project that I've been working on for the past almost a year and a half now, since the end of 2019, which is so, so exciting. So most of you, I'm sure, have already seen my posts on Instagram and saw my stories about it. But for those of you that don't know, I'm finally launching my own swimwear brand. It's been in the works for a very long time. It's taken a lot longer than I anticipated just because I wanted everything to be absolutely perfect for you guys and for myself. Like I wanted to be everything that I ever dreamed of it being and it absolutely is. Like it's exceeded all of my expectations and yeah, I'm just really excited for you guys to finally be able to get your hands on it. I'm excited to finally chat to you guys about it and give you all of the inside info. My swimwear brand, Cali Swim, is launching this Friday the 12th, a day before my birthday, which is really exciting. I really wanted to launch before my birthday because we actually have a boat for the day on Saturday for my actual birthday on the 13th. Um, so we'll be like celebrating the launch plus my birthday, which is really, really exciting. But yeah, this Friday the 12th, 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I know that I have a lot of UK and US followers as well. Um, so for the UK, I think it's it's around 10 p.m. on the Thursday and I think for the US um, depending on where you are in the US and the UK of course I think in LA it's around 2 p.m. in the afternoon on Thursday but yeah I'll leave all of the info in the description bar for you guys to check out along with like the website the Instagram um, and then all of like the launch times basically I wanted to film a sit-down video that kind of covered everything about Cali swim so the meaning behind the name the manufacturing the quality of the swimwear the inspiration for the brand the shipping literally like all of your frequently asked questions um, so yeah I thought I'd film that and then I've also decided to include the behind the scenes of the photo shoot day um, so that's like a little vlog style video right at the end for anyone that's interested it was such an epic day the team was amazing it literally couldn't have been any better like it was such a dream come true and the images turned out so incredibly I had a little cry last night when I got all of the edited images back they just turned out so insane like way better than I could have ever imagined um, so yeah that was thanks to having such an epic team and yeah they just brought my vision to life and it's just so cool seeing all of the hard work um, over the past year and a half come to fruition and come out in the photos so yeah I'm really excited for you guys to start seeing all the images all over the Instagram all over the website on the stories literally plastered everywhere they turned out absolutely incredibly and they just really um, encapsulate the brand really nicely. First of all, why Kali Swim? Kali actually means beautiful in Greek, which is exactly how I want everyone to feel when wearing my swimwear. I want you guys to feel empowered. I want you to feel included. I want you to feel confident, beautiful, all of the above. So that's why I decided to go with Kali and it was only fitting that it had my name in it as well. So I was like, I literally like have to go with it. It's such a good name. Um, and I actually pondered on the name for quite a while. It was actually my friend that suggested it. So shout out to Hannah. Um, because we did like a big list and that one was the one that just really stood out and I feel like it looks amazing in the branding like the logo everything like that and it has a really beautiful meaning behind it as well and I also didn't want it to be like even though my name is very subtly in there that wasn't actually the intentions I really liked Kelly on its own um, before realizing that my name was in it it was actually someone else that picked up on the fact that my name was in it my real name is actually Alexandra as well by the way guys I feel like everyone gets so shocked when they find that out the thing with this brand as well is that I know that a lot of influencers just bring out stuff for the sake of it but this has seriously been the biggest passion and dream of mine ever since I was little me and my mum always used to make clothes on the sewing machine and I'd always say to her like can we make swimwear and she was like it's a little bit outside of your skill set but it's just something that I always wanted to do and knew that I would end up doing so I just can't believe I'm literally doing it I'm wearing it right now and I'm launching on Friday and that's another reason why I decided not to model in any of the images because I do want it to be its own identity and I feel like I get a lot of questions about that they're like why aren't you like why aren't you modeling it like why aren't you the face of it but I want this to be like a really successful business like I want to put so much effort time commitment into it I want to make it the best brand possible I don't want it to just be like some temporary thing while I'm an influencer like I want it to be its own baby um so yeah that's why I decided to do it this way I know that other people do it differently but yeah I just wanted it to be its own brand its own business I wanted to flourish and do its own thing and I also don't want to have to be like a part of every single shoot and also I'm not a model like yes I do Instagram but I do not model like those girls model plus I feel like I've got quite a businessy mindset I don't want to have to be looking pretty and getting the content like I want to do all the behind the scenes stuff and I'm getting older you know like I don't want to have to be in front of a camera all the time in terms of the swimwear itself you guys will see a little bit more of it in the BTS video and then I'm also uploading a try on haul this week right before launch as well so if you guys want to see it on my body type um, then I will be doing a try and haul well uploading sorry a try and haul later on in the week and then as well as on myself plus the models there will also be some Instagram stories being posted on the Kelly Swim Instagram account which is just at Kelly Swim with some other 
other body types as well. The Swim is a really high quality, luxurious fabric. So the black and the white are both made from recycled fabric. I really wanted to be able to help the environment in that way. Unfortunately, the chocolate isn't because I really wanted the chocolate color. But in order to customize the recycled fabric, you have to order a certain amount of units. And because I'm just starting out, I just can't afford to order that many units. So yeah, basically that's why the chocolate is a different fabric. It is so soft. Every single person that's received it so far has just been absolutely in love with how soft both of the fabrics are. I know it probably sounds super biased, but they are seriously the best of the best. They are so soft and just so comfortable. I just can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it and feel it. Um, the white fabric as well is actually triple lined, which is just crazy because I feel like, like for me personally, I always steer away from white swimwear because it's too thin or see-through, but it's super, super thick. I actually had a girlfriend trying to sample and it was just double lined, which was still like a lot thicker than normal swimwear. Um, but she was like, can you do it triple? And I was like, of course. Um, so because she is darker skin tone, so her features show a little bit more, but now it's triple layered. It's absolutely perfect so I just wanted to let you guys know about that because I feel like a lot of swimwear goes see-through especially when it's white but this one I have worn it so many times it's still the crisp crispest crisp crispest crispest white ever and yeah because it's triple layered it's just like the best quality the black is just like you can't really go wrong with black it's just so beautiful um and that was just double lined but it doesn't need any extra like it's super thick really high quality and then the chocolate is double lined as well i'll just show you guys a little sneaky peek so this top i've actually got on like the opposite way you know how that's like really in at the moment it's good because with the tie top you can wear it in like three different ways which is amazing um so this one's just like a beautiful chocolate color i'll show you guys more in depth in the try on video but it just suits so many skin tones. It's amazing. I'm so glad that chocolate is in because I'm absolutely obsessed. In terms of sizing, like I mentioned before, because I am a small business and I'm just starting out, um, I actually don't have much leeway with the sizing just yet because I am ordering a smaller unit quantity. However, it is my intention in the future to increase it depending on sales and demand from you guys. So yeah, it is my intention to do that. At the moment, it's just extra small to extra large, um, but I do plan on increasing it over time and as I grow as a business. And then in terms of washing as well, you guys, there is a reason that everyone says to wash your stuff on cold. I know that it's always written all over the website, on the swim, everything like that, but I just want to drill it into you guys. Make sure you're washing your swimwear on cold and also hand washing it as well. The other ones are fine, but because the bra style does have wiring in it, you just want to make sure that you're not chucking it in the wash because it can damage the wire. So make sure you're washing it on cold and just hand washing it as well. Swimwear so tiny like it literally takes two seconds to wash it in the sink so make sure you guys wash it like that i just want to address that now because i don't want you guys getting your swimwear damaged from just throwing it in the washing machine the boxes that your orders will come in absolutely gorgeous may i just add really quickly but it is fully recyclable it's just made in a cardboard you can just reuse it as well so it's just like a little box it's super super cute and i love that i haven't seen that done before as well so yeah i'm absolutely obsessed and then in terms of the postage bags they aren't just biodegradable they're 100 compostable um, so these them here and then that's just a little compost marking on the back there so yeah I wanted to be super conscious of my impact on the environment when I created this brand and I have put extra money into making sure that I get stuff like that organized so that I'm not contributing to extra plastic and all of that really nasty stuff. In terms of the actual swimwear, I guess I'll cover that a little bit more in the try on haul, but I'll just briefly cover it now for you guys. There is three different colors and all three colors are done in every single style. So there's the black, the white, and then the chocolate. And then style wise, there's six different styles. So three tops, three bottoms. Um, and it's all mix and match as well. So you don't have to buy them in the set. You can mix and match whatever. And then in terms of price point, I tried to make it as cheap as possible for you guys. But honestly, people don't realize how much swimwear costs. When I used to buy swimwear, and I was like, why is this swim $200? Like I thought it was so ridiculous. I'm like, it's literally a piece of fabric. But if you want high quality stuff um, and swimwear as well, like it's so intricate, all of the little tiny details. So it actually costs so much more than I anticipated. So in terms of the price point for the swim, both the top and the bottoms in all of the styles are just $69. I wanted it to be affordable for you guys. 
um, and then of course like I still need to profit because I am a business um, and then obviously all of the additional costs that go into swimwear including the packaging the photo shoots the marketing the branding all that sort of stuff I feel like people don't really realize how much money actually goes into a brand all of the sampling like literally so much goes into it and then of course if you're paying for higher quality products and fabrics then it is going to cost more as well so that's why the price point is where it's at um, and it's very very reasonable for the amount of money that I've invested into the business and then in terms of shipping we are doing Australia Post for our domestic orders and then DHL for international orders so of course I have a lot of international followers so I wanted to make sure that you guys can get your hands on my swim you guys will be going into summer soon as a consumer a major online shopper I absolutely love the service that DHL provide and I wanted to make sure that you guys received a premium experience so even though it cost me a little bit more I wanted to make sure that it was through the best of the best I feel like with DHL I never have any issues with my shipping I always know where my packages are they're so onto it super fast and yeah they're literally just the best all of the prices for the shipping will be on the website if you do spend over $150 and you're in Australia then you do get free shipping as well I also have towels on the website as well I got a lot of replies whenever I posted using my towel that's in the PR boxes so I did order some and there will be a few on the website as well there'll, there'll actually be a lot on the website not gonna lie I ordered quite a bit so hopefully you guys can get your hands on that as well and I actually just want to take a moment to say thank you to you guys for supporting me in this journey because without your support over the years I just wouldn't be able to fund this I wouldn't be able to do this so I just want to say a massive massive thank you to you guys because without you um, it wouldn't be possible or it would be possible but not on the level that it's at so yeah I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys because you have literally brought my dreams to real life but yeah that's pretty much everything that i had to fill you guys in on if you have any further questions leave them in the comments below i'm just truly so excited for you guys to get your hands on this stuff so much love hard work passion has gone into this brand and i just i just hope you guys love it as much as i do um but yeah let's get stuck into the bts video finally finally here I feel like I've been holding this in for the longest time and I'm so excited that I can finally like chat to you guys about it I've been working on Cali swim since oh, like October 2019 so the longest time I've just been trying to perfect it so that it's like the best of the best for you guys um but the shoot is finally today I can't freaking wait um, we have literally like the best team ever. I'm so excited. I have been so like nervous but excited um, But I'm definitely more at ease knowing that we have a really good team. The models are beautiful. The photographer's amazing Hairstylist makeup artist everything is like literally on point. So yeah, I'm definitely not worried um, Which is good and yeah, I'm just so excited to finally get like all the images back and then complete the website and everything else um, That's still waiting to get done. So yeah, I thought I'd vlog today bring you guys along who does like a little bit of BTS Jake and I are actually gonna head down down um, right about now he's just getting ready um, I'll show you guys my outfit really quickly in a second but yeah I just can't cannot wait um, and if you guys do want to see anything else like behind the scenes from Kelly swim in the future make sure you guys let me know because I'd love to like vlog behind the scenes stuff for you guys this is my outfit here I want it to be super super comfortable today just because it's still so hot and muggy in Queensland at the moment like I'm sweating right now I don't know if it's because I'm like so nervous and excited or not these pants are, like a little bit big for me but anyway at least I'll be comfy and this set is just from Dish in case you guys were wondering in the chocolate color which is very fitting for today if you guys haven't already seen the swim then you will um, see it later anyway but yeah super fitting and then yeah I just have my sunnies and then shoes um, but yeah we're gonna go pick up V on the way Verity is coming today for some moral support I went out yesterday and bought a heap of snacks to make a platter board for the girls to snack on during the shoot. Some of the girls are vegan so I've got some vegan lollies, normal lollies, Oreos, crackers, some grapes and then a heap of fruit and dips and stuff. And then I'm also going to order um, some sushi platters as well because who doesn't love sushi? Oh no, I also got some banana bread. Yum. And then here I have the mood board for the shoot so we have four different looks um, and then I've also just included some Instagram story inspo as well and then here we have um, the models, hair and makeup, shoot location, etc, etc. So everyone knows um, what we're doing today. And then I've also printed these out as well. So everyone has a hard copy. And then this idea I actually got from um, uh, Brittany Saunders. She actually posted about it on her 
Instagram story and the platform is Millanote and you can like create um, this and like checklists and stuff. It's really, really cool. So if you guys need a mood board or are doing shoot planning or anything like that, definitely check it out because it's really, really helpful. And then in the back here, I just packed um, all of the printed off run sheets and mood boards. This is our packaging. It's so beautiful. And here we have a bunch of disposable cameras, film cameras. Um, extra iPhones, um, what else, a oh, Polaroid, film, all that sort of stuff. And then we have accessories in here, like shoes and stuff, you can't really see them. Um, but there's like Sunny's jewelry and everything in there. And then here we have all of the swim and then also just a towel. And I also have a heap of extra stuff just in case you want to like style the swim with anything and make it a little bit more fun for some of the photos. to the location we're just shooting at Isabel Quinn's studio on the Gold Coast. We wanted to go for something that's really just like neutral because obviously the swim's super neutral as well. So yeah, I'm really excited. I also forgot to mention that I'm not actually modeling either. I have two really beautiful models doing the shoot just because I wanted it to be more about like everyone else and not myself and I just want to be like directing and like supervising everything making sure I get a heap of BTS today and also like I want the brand to just stand alone as well like I don't want to be like the face of the brand if that makes sense obviously like I'll promote it and everything but yeah I want it to be its own company and its own little baby um so I'm really excited Bea and I just did the little platter board so this one's just a bit of fun basically got some lollies and stuff and then a heap of fruit as well <laughs> so Ebony is doing the styling today. We have everything laid out here. Just ignore our disgusting background. We just had to lay something on the ground and that's all that was in my car. Jake and Verity are both on manoeuvring furniture today. How do we feel? Right. Moral support. <laughs> Moral support. Moral support. <laughs> I'm eating on snacks. <laughs> oh, delicious. Yeah. Oh, that done. That's me done. <laughs> Some sushi. It's amazing. So we got chicken and then we also got a veggie platter. It's fucking amazing. I can't wait to eat this. Verity, how is it? <laughs> Jay going in. Go nuts, boys. debrief after the shoot the other day because obviously it was such a big day Jake and I literally got home and passed out straight away we got home at like 10 o'clock at night and then we slept in until 9 a.m. the next morning which is so unlike us usually we are up bright and early like every single morning so sleep in till 9 was big you could tell that we were both just like so exhausted um, even though we weren't like actually like in the shoot or anything it was just like such a big day so many emotions um, because obviously like Jake has helped me so much throughout this whole process as well and we've like both been working on it obviously it's like my baby and he has sweats as well um, but yeah it's just been like so long in the making so we just wanted to make sure it was all perfect Jake was like running around for me getting like sushi waters like all of that sort of stuff like behind the scenes content 
um, and everything like that as well. So yeah, it was a really big day. It was such a success. I cannot wait to get the photos back um, and you guys will obviously see them all over like the Instagram and website and everything. I'm just so excited. It was such a dream come true and I'm just so glad that like that phase is over and that we can start working on everything else now. Colleen, the photographer, will um, do all the images, send them across um, once she's uploaded them. And then I get to select my favorites and then she'll edit those ones. Um, I just put like a filter and grain and stuff over them and then we can put them on the website and start planning the Instagram feed and everything like that. Um, so that's really, really exciting and I just can't wait to get the images back. Ah, I'm so sorry. Um, I did actually start editing this yesterday. It's now Sunday and the shoot was on Friday. So I did start editing this vlog yesterday and I was like, oh, we really didn't get that much. So I'm sorry, it's really short. It just ended up being such a hectic day and like the last thing we thought to do was vlog. There was like a little moment there where we were running like behind by quite a bit. So we were like, let's go. Like I had a timer going for every single look so that we could pump through all the photos that we needed to get. But you guys would have seen we actually headed down down to the beach for a bit of it and it started like raining um but it was fine like the sun was still out and everything so all in all a massive success and we actually managed to get so many looks done so i'm really really impressed um the team was amazing i'll leave all of their info down below like the makeup artist hairstyles everything like that as well in case you guys are planning a shoot or anything like that or you have your own business i really want to be able to like share little like tips and tricks along the way or who i use with you guys um when it comes to my business because I love it when other people are really helpful in that department so yeah if I can help even one of you guys um, with some suggestions somewhere then that will make me very very happy but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the little BTS vlog yeah it was a really good day I'm so happy with how it turned out and I hope you guys enjoy the images when they finally come out I hope I like them I'm sure I will but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will chat to you soon bye